All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, friends of mine, friends of data, dear procurement and finance friends, here we are with episode number eight of the Daily Nine, and today we're going to cover one of those mythical formulas. We're going to cover quantity theory. We're going to cover how you can do 10,000 VLOOKUPS in just a second, all with the help of automation. And Naim, are you ready? Then let's go for it. All right, all right, all right. Let's just quickly switch over to the virtual screen and then we're going to look at what we're going to build today. And it's not five nodes today. It's not four nodes today. No, just have a look. It is just three simple notes we are going to do today. And I'm also a little bit of a faker, Mr. Fake News of Procurement, you can call me, because we already have one existing note in our Build It Together workflow, because I am a lazy person and I just didn't want to do too much of preparation work. All right, so first let's switch back to the thing we're going to build. Of course, there's a trusted Excel reader that helps us to import the base file, the file that we're working on. And then we have a table creator that basically creates table within line with the data. Let's just quickly have a look what data it will build, shall we? All right, double click on the node and you see we have our lovely little cost centers here and they're spread all about the United States of America and we have the locations where those cost centers are located currently. So this is what we're going to add to our base file. In Excel, you would use a VLOOKUP for that. And if you have mastered VLOOKUP, you can surely consider yourself as an advanced Excel user. So in return, I assume this makes you an advanced nine user here if you can use what we're going to do today. And that is a sweet little yellow buddy here called the joiner. And as I said before the intro, we're also going to cover some quantity theory, yes. And do you think it's going to be difficult? Nee. It's going to be easy because I have checked it. So you for sure will check it too. All right, then let's start. All right, we have our table creator here. As you see, it has no input port here. This means we just write down what we wanted to create. We give it a name with F2 department location. That sounds very good to me. And then we just execute it, pressing F7, and our table is immediately created. Manually created table is what it says. All right. And then, of course, we're going to use our Excel reader. We go to the IO category here to the read, and there is a trusted little buddy, orange friend. We call him F2. We press for labeling it and of course, you know, import base file. All right, but we need to tell what base file we need to import. All right, so we double click it and I tell you to react. I demand you to react, yeah. All right, relative to current workflow, as always, we click browse. We go into our trusted little data folder and we select this one. Let it just preview. Looks wonderful, doesn't it? All right, and then we just press F7 for importing it. And now we are going to select our magic little friend, the joiner node, as I said before. So we type join. No, we do not type join. We type join. Do we type join? It's global nest. Right, we type join. All right. So we take the joiner here from the column split and combine section, drag it onto the workflow, and now you're going to see something new. Do you see that our little buddy here is somewhat special? Yes, you see it right, because he has two 
input ports. And what does that mean? That means you can connect to tables, which is exactly what we want to do, which is exactly what VLOOKUP in good old Excel does. So we do it like this. You just have to remember which table goes to which port, because once we open the configuration window, we need that information, all right? So we take the upper table, let's make it pretty crazy, to the upper port. Woo, aren't we crazy today? <laughs> and we take the lower to the lower. Of course, we press, oh no, that's wrong. We mark it, press F2 and say, join locations to cost center. That's what this node does. And now let's double click it to open it. And now we need to add a matching criterion. So let's have a look, just cancel this one. Let's have a look at what is similar in both tables. Look here. Well, you might want to have a look at this column here. And then look here, have a look at this column here. Well, I think it is fair to say that we're going to use the cost center column as the one for our matching criteria. And better than in good old Microsoft spreadsheet Excel wonderfulness, we do not need to worry if it's leftmost column or rightmost column or whatever and count from zero to whatnot. It is, doesn't matter because we just opened the join node here. I said open, I demand you to open it. Yes, here we go. And then we say the add matching criterion. And instead of row ID, we put cost center, that's the left table, the top input you see here. That's the one that goes into the top, that's the base file. And from the other department locations table, we also take the cost center. Now we come to, as promised, to quantity theory. Yes. So let's have a look at this sweet little drop down here. So we have four options here. And if you are aware of SQL or SQL or any kind of that advanced development people stuff, you maybe know what joins are. I didn't know I had to learn it the hard way and I did. So let me just quickly explain what it does. See two tables, right? So maybe we just switch back to the normal screen. We have two tables, right? We have the left table and we have the right table. So basically, if you do an inner join, we only take lines where we have matching items on both tables. So where they both overlap, basically. Let's talk about what a left out join is. We take our left table here, this little body, my friend, and we take every single line from that table, no matter if it has a match in his good friend, the right table or not. That's very important. The same is true for the right out to join, but this time it's turned around. The right table rules over the left table because we take every single line from the right table, no matter if it has a match on the left table or not. This is basically table Tinder if you want. And finally, we have the full outer join. So that means we take all lines from the right table, all lines, well, here we are, from the left table, and we join them together. And it doesn't matter if any of them has a match in the other table or not. So basically the same, let's say it's equality, table equality, if you want, all right, all right, all right. So let's first have a look and execute it with all four modes. Let's just quickly switch back to the monitor. And here we are again. Just make sure that we can see this, all right. Oh no, look, just once again. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I messed it up. Oh no. So let's first have a look at the inner join. We just say, we take everything. If you remember what I just said, inner join means we have an overlap where we have matching criteria in both tables. Everything else is excluded, all right? We press F7 
And this much look at the this pretty much looks like what we wanted to have to. So let's click at the joint table and let's see. Yes, everything is perfect. So we have locations for every little department. Just before we do one of the outer joints, let me quickly show you the very last line in that sweet table here. You see headquarters in Dallas. Well, if you remember our previous episodes, we do not have a cost center. That's called headquarters. So that means a right out join should result in 10,001 rows because it takes all the rows from the rightmost table, if you remember, and adds them no matter if they have a match or not. All right, let's quickly have a look. Execute, join table, and look what happened at the end. Here is the right part. It doesn't have a match in the left table, but it's still in here with the location column that we said is the matching criterion. But of course, this is not what we want. So let's just go back to the inner join. That's what we want. And the right outer join, basically, in our case here, does the same as the full outer join because it adds the, um, it adds the, the all parts of all tables. We want the inner join. We only want matches here basically so once again table tinder so to say boom and have you seen that i just want to tell you once again look at this my friends ten thousand rows can you do ten thousand vlookups in a second in microsoft excel i concretely doubt it but hey maybe you can prove me wrong just leave a comment below this video and if you like this video and if you like these approaches here we already have talked about sums and counts and sum ifs and count a's and whatnot if you like these videos just make sure that you head over quickly to procurementzen.com slash the daily nine you find the link in the description down below and then you can download all these examples. You'll also find the link to download Nime for free because it's open source goodness from the good people over at Nime. So make sure you download this great tool and start digital transformation for procurement right away. What is this? Well, I think it is. Nice. So here we go. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see your crazy data table analyst tomorrow in just another episode of The Daily Nine. Until tomorrow, see you then. Bye-bye.